Okay, so in this particular section, we'll talk about NAT gateway. So why do you need a NAT gateway? A NAT gateway comes in handy if you created a virtual machine without an external IP address and you want that external IP address to communicate with the internet. So let's assume that you have a database. Now you don't want your database to be connected to an external IP. However, you do want your database to get updates from the internet. So let's go ahead and let's first create a virtual machine. So let's go to our VM instance. And what we'll do first is we'll create a virtual machine without an external IP address. So let's click on create instance. And I'll create it in US central one. And let's click on the networking. Click on networking here. And I'll choose the default network that is already created when you create the project. And here the only change that I'll make is I will disable the external IP address. So there'll be no external IP address associated with this particular machine. So let's leave everything as default. So let's just make this as E2 micro. And also let's just change the boot disk. And let's make this as standard persistent. I'm doing this so that this falls under the free tire. So let's click on select and let's create this particular instance. Let's click on create. Okay, so our instance is created. Let's click on SSH now. And let's try to ping. Let's assume that you want to ping google.com. Let's do a ping on google.com and let's see what happens. And here you can see that since there's no external IP, this particular machine is not able to talk to the external world. So what we need to do now is we need to create a NAT gateway so that it's able to do so. So let's minimize this and let's go and create a NAT gateway. Let's click on cloud NAT. Let's click on get started here. So let's just call this as my NAT. And here you need to click on the network. So the network is basically the default network that we've created. And you must remember that NAT gateway is a regional construct. So you also need to mention that particular region. So since we've created the particular virtual machine is in US central one, so this particular NAT gateway also has to be in US central one. So let's click on US central one. And here we also need to create a router. So let's click on creating a router. So let's just call this as my router. And let's click on create. Now, if you look at the documentation here, it mentions that the cloud NAT uses the cloud router to group the NAT gateway configuration together. So the cloud NAT is not actually performed by the cloud router. Its only purpose is to just uh, group together the NAT gateway configuration and nothing else. So it does not in any way have to do anything with your BGP protocol or anything to do with cloud VPN. So that's one thing you must remember. So the only intent of creating the router is to just group together all the NAT, gate, NAT gateway configuration and that's about it. And here let's map all the primary and the secondary ranges for all the subnets. And here it will create a NAT IP address. So let this NAT IP address be created automatically. So that's about it. So let's click on create. And once it's running, let's go back and see how our virtual machine behaves like now. So let's just control Z and let's do a ping again. And this time you can see that it returns the data back. Now here, one thing to remember is that this is basically a regional construct. So if you're creating a virtual machine within the same network, but in a different region, then it will not work. So let's try that out as well. So let's go to a VM instance. And let's create another instance. So let's click on create instance. And this time what we'll do is we'll create an instance in US East one. So let's click on US East. And again, this will be instance two. Again, it'll be an E2 micro. Let me change the boot disk again here. Standard, click on select. Networking. And again, we'll choose the same network, the default network, and we'll not have any external IP associated with it. So let's just remove the external IP. And that's about it. So let's create this particular instance as well. Let's click on create. 
and let's SSH, SSH into this particular machine. And let's do a ping on Google again. Now since our NAT gateway is not in US East 1, so let's see what happens if we ping here. And you can see that it does not connect to google.com. So the only way you can do that is again, you need to create a NAT gateway in that US East region for this to work. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful for you. I will see you in the next.